and you're not bad most tv entertainment without bad this is the night we all have been waiting for we have been anticipating this night for some time now since the announcement and yes i am glad that it's finally here it is the premiere of who wants to be a millionaire <laughs> i can never do like frank though but i'm just really glad that the new season is here after four years break yep we wants to be a millionaire came to us for the first time in 2004 and then by 2017 it was all gone <laughs> all gone but glad to see that it's returning to the tv screen and it's perhaps one of nigeria's favorite tv show at the time intellectual show amazing fun the suspense was lit we learned so much united families and then it just went away like that but again and the good news is that it is back and tonight is the premiere and we are about to bring you all that is happening on the red carpet as well as bring you a bit of some of the things you will get to see in this show this season. My name is Moya Sarialua. This is Anyola Badmas TV and you know it's about to get real so stay right here for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire premiere right in Lagos. Yeah, it's been away for so long. It's finally here. Bisola, how are you doing? I'm doing so great this evening. Good evening. <laughs> how excited are you to be at this premiere? I'm excited. It's been long we've been planning this and I'm excited that it's become a reality now and um, the world is going to see what we've been planning, what we've been cooking. So. I'm so excited. I like the sound of we've been planning this because she actually is representing a brand who is part of the sponsors of this season's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. They are the reason Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is back. So you want to tell us about your brand? Um, Unified Payments, we're a fintech company, one of the premier fintech companies in Nigeria. And we, are, we have three um, major companies under us, like sub companies, Pay Arena, O Bank, and um, Unified Group. So that's what we do, we're a fintech company. Hey, so let's talk about who wants to be a millionaire for a little bit. It went for so long, since 2017 up until now. And now that it's back, what do you think the world will be expecting, that Nigerians will be expecting to see tonight? Um, I, I would advise Nigerians to um, think better of the show. Um, apart from the three lifelines that were there before, a new lifeline has been included. I can guess. I can so. guess. I can. Should I guess? Should I tell them? Should I guess? So I can tell Should them. I guess? Yeah, yeah, you can guess. If I get it, what will you give me? Um, <laughs> Just tell me. Oh, yeah. um, I really can't say. Maybe after the show. <laughs> okay, I will tell you the lifeline later. Let me not let it out just yet. Yeah. Um, um, for you, what's your favorite thing about the show? What memory does it bring back for you? Well, since I was a child, I've always been watching um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. It's an educative show, and I believe it's a show that majority of Nigerians would love to see come back to reality. So I'm so excited that the show is out now and many people are going to be learning from it again. Right. And one thing about the show now is that you don't even have to come to the studio. You can also win exciting prizes even from the comfort of your home. Ah, yeah. I'm particularly excited about that. <laughs> Thank you Bisola for talking to us. We can't wait to see what the show offers this season. It's my pleasure. Thank you. I told you guests are going to be tripping out here tonight. Who doesn't want to see what Who Wants to Be a Millionaire has to offer this season? Tell me, how will you introduce the show if you were to, you know, be given the opportunity? Let's try it before we even get to the discussion. Well, I have to be paid for that, you know. It's a millionaire show, so I have to be paid some multi-million, you know, dollars. Don't be proud. <laughs> Just try. <laughs> so, uh, I really need to go and take lessons from my uh, Frank Adowo. You know, so I could uh, get it uh, spot on. But then I'll say, tonight, are you ready to be a millionaire? Go work! <laughs> Go work! He did not enter. <laughs> but I'll just say, if, if I were to do that and you're my guest on the hot seat, I'm not going to be like, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time we have been waiting for. Welcome on board to Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> in your face. I want to sit right on the hot seat, you know. <laughs> but tell me, how do you feel stepping out tonight? Very energetic. You know, I'm so elated because uh, this brought about so much nostalgic feeling. You know, uh, I was pretty young. I was, I wasn't this tall. You know, 
course. I was uh, I was so young, and the entire family was always always looking for from those times that we used to eat our eat our TV like this. You know, this. right? You know, right? And the good thing about this that I really like, uh, I'll make it a little bit personal. You know, is the fact that it is so intellectually based. So I could remember even while I was so young, I, I learned one thing or the other every single time I watch. So it's um, fantastic, I must tell. And I know it is going to be twice as good. Yeah, I saw the trailer. Wait. I saw the trailer. Mm -hmm. Frank Edouce has got, he still got his voice like that, you know. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's, that voice that brings about so much suspense, you know, and makes you feel so hot on the hot seat. <laughs> <laughs> You've said so much about what you love about the show, what it brings to you. Right. Now tell me the fun part. Can you remember the man who won the highest? money on who wants to be a millionaire um i honestly could remember but i i can't remember his name nothing of such but i remember it was i'm not sure i watched that show but i saw the uh, i saw uh the would he would i call it the review or you know i saw it was so i, I was like Remember I watched that yeah. night and I was so rooting for him right. and it seemed like a man who knew almost everything. I wish you were here tonight. Right. His name is Aroma and if I say, yes, that's his name and it was so intriguing. And guy, I'm looking for who's going to beat that map because I mean 10 million naira back then is nothing right now. You know. I will. <laughs> What's your favorite li uh, lifeline? How do you mean lifeline? I mean we had three lifelines on the show. Okay. Oh right, I think I think it's usually call a friend, you know. It was always hilarious. There were some friends who have, well, retards, uh, you know, off the record. <laughs> but then, yeah, yeah, I think that was that was it for me. Call a friend, you know, um, someone would call his friend, and some people would literally not communicate the question until everything just goes off. It was so interesting, to be honest. It was a very great show, I must confess, a legendary uh, uh, show, as it were. And I can't wait to see what tonight has to offer for us. Thank you so much for talking to us. Have fun tonight. Ladies and gentlemen. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is finally back on our screens. And we have some of the sponsors come out tonight. How are you doing, sir? Fine, I'm great. You want to tell us a bit about your brand and what they did to contribute to the return of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Okay, so I represent um, Unified Payments. Um, under the Unified Payment groups, you have um, Hope PS Bank, you have Pay Arena and Pay Attitude. So um, we are the lead sponsor for Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, to bring it back to um, viewers. I wanted Nigeria. you to be excited about that. You know, the way you said that excited. lead sponsor, I see easy. We are, we are the lead sponsors. <laughs> so we are the ones bringing. Um, the show back and it's something that we're very happy to do um, one of the most interesting things about this year is that on the show um, a lot of the to play the show we're going to be using pay attitude um, so pay attitude is one of the brands that was really going to um, get to know about based on the show because um, you'll be having to, to play the show you'll be doing it on on the pay attitude which is um, star 569 hats so um, basically so there's pay attitude there's hope bank and there's pay arena Arena is a lifestyle platform for bills payments, verification, and e-commerce. So um, we believe strongly that um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire is a show that people will want to see or people have missed for a long time. And by so doing, we will be able to drive all of these brands more into your into your lives and into your um, uh, to get you to use use our brands. I, I love the way you put it. And yes, on behalf of Nigerians who loved this show and still love this show, want to say thank you for bringing it back. And of course, we are so itching to see where this is going to be go this season. But I must ask you, um, away from being one of the sponsors, let's talk to you as um, a viewer or a lover of the show. Um, when it stopped in 2017, how did you feel? Yeah, we. It was. It, is a show that has become part of our, our daily lives and when it stopped um, the, the thing is you don't know who to ask that okay how do we get this so yes yeah, so um, it's a show that we've missed it's a show that we've loved for I think it was on for 11 years yes yeah, so um, when it stopped it was it was like a part of our weekend had been um, taken away yeah so. so what's your favorite thing about the show tell me as an audience now um, well I'll rather talk about um, Okay, my favorite thing about the show is the um, 
is where you have um, a 50-50. And how people sometimes, they had won um, quite an amount of money. And when they do that, they go, they go down here. Uh, well, so, will, it, will I call it a favorite part, but it's, it's, uh, it's bittersweet, <laughs> yeah, if you can put it that way. Yeah. All right, then. We're looking forward to see the magic you and the entire team and other sponsors have created with Who Wants to Be a Millionaire this season. And we can't wait to, you know, enjoy it, soak it in. And how do you feel about Frank Edo returning before we finally let you go? Yeah, I think that, um, I think he has raised the bar so much so that um, it will be difficult for someone else to to have done a better job or a, or a job as good. So I think it was just the perfect selection right. for this show. Thank you for talking to us. Have fun tonight. All right, thank you. It is an unusual night. We're having the return of our favorite TV show and we have Alex Unusual right here tonight. You, Alex, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine. And how do you feel welcoming with both hands the return of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Excited. That's just it. Excited and ready. Yes. What did you miss the most when it went eight us? I mean, did you feel empty or some kind of way? Yes, I missed those um, times when there's a pause for you to know if uh, you're going one step below, one step above, and then the phone a friend, and when the friend starts to ask silly questions, <laughs> sometimes your friends are like they were not informed and all of that. So, yes, I miss those those points. Back in the day, it was like one of the shows who brought families together. Was it like that for you? Yeah, it was. So my dad would call us and tell us to sit down and try to answer the questions. And when you get it right, he gives you money. <laughs> oh, I wish I were in that, you know. <laughs> but again, um, it was a lot of memories for us. And now that it's back, what do you think is your favorite thing about this new announcement? Um, I think the fact that social media is now a thing. It's more of a thing than it was then, so um, I don't know. I really do not want to see the negative part of it because I know they would drag if somebody should like fail a question. Like, oh, why would you feel something like that? But I'm looking forward to those funny times, you know, <laughs> social media. We have a new lifeline, and the money has also been taken higher. Mm -hmm. But tell me, what was your favorite lifeline at the time? Phone a friend. Phone a friend. You didn't like, you know, you had Miss Avenson, but it's still your favorite. I did like. Um, 50-50, because you're still stuck with the same. That one that you're saying, I think it is, they'll keep it there for you, they'll give you another one. So I think it was funny, friend. Now we have a new lifeline. What's that? <laughs> Shall I tell you? You'll pay me. <laughs> it is Ask the Host. So Frank Adol gets to answer the question. How is that supposed to play out? Well, we will find out. It is actually a thing in the UK version, and it's about my favorite, actually, my favorite lifeline. I really want to see that then, yes. Like we're going to put Frank on the hot seat. Right. He deserves it. <laughs> I'm sure he's watching this right now. <laughs> Please. Thank you. So not nice to this comment. No. I mean, not like, no, please. I'm good that you just don't fight, so, no. Choose your battle wisely. Yes, yes. Thank you for talking to us, and we hope that you have fun tonight. You're welcome. Thank you. And then you're here. This is Big Brother. I'm sure someone comes to mind because it's been in that shoes before. Yeah. It was the voice, the voice of Big Brother in yeah. the year. Don't worry, I won't review. <laughs> I that know is. you won't review, so I won't review. <laughs> well, you did an amazing job, AJK, and it's Thank so you. nice to see you tap out tonight. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I am fine. I know it's not about Big Brother today. No, it's no, about no. who wants to be a millionaire. And not the TV show, by the way. Yep. And of course, Nigerian's favorite TV show mm -hmm. from way back mm -hmm. yeah. making a return after so oh, many yeah. years yeah. Yeah. and we're so glad to have seen this day how do you feel talk to me as an audience now first Honestly, <laughs> I'm very very happy very happy to have the show return I have been praying and wishing for it and I'm sure I'm speaking the minds of millions of Nigerians I mean families and all I mean you watching television these days yes there are content but this is a peculiar content content that you cannot compare to anything else so it is I call it the, the, the classroom in your living room where you sit you learn everything in general knowledge and what else can you ask for and in the end you have this knowledge monetized you get reward for knowledge so I mean it's it, it, there's nothing like it getting reward for television viewing it's like going to school and then they're paying you money. 20 million naira for going to... Oh, come on now. 
come. You know, one thing with AJK tonight is that it seems to have a lot of information about what we're about to see tonight. I mean, from the new lifeline to the fact that the price has been raised up um, yep, by yep, 10 yep, million naira. Yep, yep, yep. You know, it used to be 10 million naira, now it's 20. We had someone hit the 10 million naira mark the last time before yep, it went yep, up. Yep, yep. Do you remember his name? Um, his name is. Uh, ah, what's. Ah. If I get it, what will you give me? Aroma. <laughs> The my first Roma, person. You can't take my money. You can't take my money. I'm so happy. The first person yes. to get the answer correctly. I guess I'll get a reward for that. Well, but yeah, you should be going. <laughs> no reward for you. I mean, you're the boss. If you don't know it, so we know it. Oh, there you go now. Now you're, now you're wriggling free. No, no, no. Don't mind me. So, yeah, let's talk about the new introduction, the new tricks. What should we be expecting? Everything. Everything that this show is or was known for or has been known for and even more and more and more. I mean, the series one was good, but this one is back. It's, 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 it's coming with a bang and a massive splash. All right, new lifeline, brand new lifeline. Uh, Should we tell them? Oh, well. Oh, well. Wait for them to see. Oh, oh well, this is not live, so. <laughs> you know, I, I, I've always been itching for this lifeline to be there because, I mean, I want to see Frank's response. An attitude to, those, you know. You're one of those who wants to see Frank sweat. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, anyway, you will have it to your full. <laughs> you have it to your feel, rather. So there's going to be a new lifeline, and um, of course, the prize money increase, like I said earlier on. And then, and then a lot of drama. Of course, Frank is, the, is back on the show. That's, that's a no brainer. And then, you, you know, you see, you, you, you have uh, um, the suspense. All right, and, and of course, your no, the knowledge, knowledge, so many things to learn. Just brace for it; it will blow you out of the waters. Get ready. Tell someone who knows someone who knows someone to get ready. Who wants to be a millionaire series? Two is back, courtesy of Black Hot. What I love it. Ask for. I love your energy. Uh -huh. Thank you for talking to us, Thank you so much. and I can't wait to see mm. what you guys have cooked for us. Definitely, <laughs> definitely. Come with me right now. Yes. Come with. <laughs> Before you go, premiere of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Yusuf is out here. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm feeling excited, honestly. I love the excitement. And tell me, why are you excited? Uh, Frank Edo is giving me goosebumps. <laughs> I mean, he's a man of the moment, I yeah? I know, right? I know, right? It's so, it's, I'm so happy that he's back on the show. You know, they didn't decide to go with someone else. So, Frank Edo has always been, you know, a mentor to me. You know, I see him as a great host and it's something I really want to go for. So, yeah. We can't wait to see you in that light as well. Definitely. But did you. you watch this show back in the day? Of course. Since when I was a kid, I've been watching Who Has What's your day? favorite thing about it? Well, uh, the fact that people win millions <laughs> <laughs> from the start. So, yeah, I think it changed people's life. And I believe uh, it's something you always wanted to see someone's life changed. So, yeah, I think. Would you, would you want to play? I, I, I wouldn't mind, but... <laughs> How much do you think you will win? Hmm, well... Be sincere. You know, you know what they say, if you aim high, you land. Yeah, so I will go for the 10 million. <laughs> well, let me break it to you that it's now 20 million, so you're at oh, yes, wow. 10 million or more. That is amazing, that is amazing. I see why I'm still here. <laughs> and um, I know that Nigerians are expecting a lot. Do you have doubt as to what this night would mean for us as we watch this um, season premiere? Well, I believe uh, there's a lot of changes and I know uh, this year is going to be a lot better. And so I think uh, the expectations would bring people back. And, you know, Frank Edoho also, people always know him. So a lot of, he has fan base, so a lot of people know him. So people will be, will be with, exactly, they will be ginger to see what's going to happen. And I'm not going to keep you here for too long because we need to go see what's going to happen. Know, right? <laughs> it's about to get started. Thank you for talking to us and have fun. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's a look like. And I have a guest who obviously is here because it's missed the show. And I want to hear you tell me. Did you miss the show? Of course. Yes, I have. <laughs> tell me one of the things you remember when you remember who wants to be a millionaire. I think the most significant thing I can remember is Frank and his, uh, the way he poses and he pauses whenever he's asking the questions and then he makes people actually work hard for the money. So it's really great to see him coming back again and I'm really looking forward to watching the first one. Did you ever dream of being on the show? 
I have actually thought I'm sure loads of Nigerians. Did you try it? Did you put in that code? Never actually tried, you know. It's one of those things you really dream, oh, I could really do this, you know, but you never actually get around to. Did you get to watch the guy who won the highest amount ever? Unfortunately, I haven't. I have watched quite a few series in the UK, but not the Nigerian version, yeah. Yeah, I've seen lots of Nigerian ones, not the guy that won the highest amount, though. Now let's compare that in the UK to what we have here in Nigeria in terms of the lifelines. I know there's a particular lifeline that is missing in the Nigerian version. Do you wish it were introduced to this one? No, I think the uh, producers have done a very, very good job of looking at what is what fits and what's appropriate for the right crowd, and they've been able to tailor the new. Uh, episode to that because obviously we can't just take a blanket statement from the UK and bring it to Nigeria and expect it to work automatically so they've done a brilliant job and I'm sure the fans will love it. So if you were to introduce anything right now to the new season if we're asking you okay come on sit on the table with us what's, what's the new thing you want us to include to who wants to be a millionaire what would you say? What I'd say is let's see how this goes and then when we get to that point we can talk. <laughs> I love how you skip that. But thank you so much for talking to us. Have a great evening too. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, wonderful people, my name is Eniola Badmos, and of course I'm using this medium to remind you guys to please subscribe to Eniola Badmos TV on YouTube so you can get to what different trending news, you can get to what different entertainment updates, and of course all the news going all around the world. Guys, do not forget to turn on your notification so you can get to watch all of our content. Thank you so much guys. And Enola Padmos TV Entertainment with our